Welcome to Saturday morning in Dubai. Which can only mean one thing, it's brunch day. And if you live in Dubai, you know exactly how this day is gonna go. And if you don't, it's basically a three or four hour unlimited food and drink package that usually is on a Saturday at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And you essentially dress up and have a party all day. And today you are gonna come along with me to the top five brunches in Dubai. And trust me, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for the last one. And we are starting at the Atlantis on the farm here where we're going to Saffron Brunch. One of the amazing things about this brunch is you actually get to go through the amazing Atlantis Hotel. So that was 495 dirham and this is actually Saffron 2.0 where it's all been updated to new and modern. everywhere they have every type of alcohol and non-alcohol in all these different stations there's also loads of different cuisines they have really high quality food it is like top tier restaurant food all the different cuisines and they also have pork which i know isn't great for the muslim viewers here but it is really great and they have everything and it's a really amazing location with <laughs> with atlantis swimming pool just behind us because we're inside atlantis hotel there's loads of entertainment and also it's our friend's birthday so they do sing happy birthday with a cake and everything And that leads us on to our second brunch, which is Tropical Brunch at Zero Gravity, which is currently happening every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So that's four hours of unlimited food and drink. It's currently 349 dirham for the ladies and 399 dirham for the guys. If you one of these pineapples, which you have to carry around and get your drinks filled up in. So now this one's quite different because it's actually a pool day brunch. So you can chill by the pool and chill on the beach. We were set up on the beach, we arrived about one o'clock, there were still loads of sunbeds everywhere. If you want one of the nice sunbeds up the top near the pool, you do have to pay a table fee. They also have people coming around giving lollies, they also have entertainment with some dancers on the main stage that we didn't really check out. The music wasn't really my vibe, it was very like uh, Latin American sort of dance music. It wasn't so much like housey beach club music or even like pop fun music for brunch. So yeah, wasn't too much of a fan of the music. Now just down the road from Zero Gravity in Marina, you have the Rixos Hotel, which is home to Lock, Stock and Barrel. Lock, Stock and Barrel currently don't have a brunch going on, but I've got to tell you, a couple months ago, they were running the best brunch I've ever been to in my life. You can see from some of the videos here, it was pretty crazy. It was a full on party. There was karaoke, there was a live band, there was costume characters walking around. It was crazy. Honestly, one of the best brunches I've ever done. That being said, we went there recently and they're not currently putting on any brunches, but I just wanted to add this one in here to say that Lock, Stock and 
and barrel in JBR does do the best brunch when they're running them. It's obviously quite an event and they put it on and it does actually sell out. So you have to be pretty quick getting your tickets. So that is one to keep in the books. As you can see from here, it was incredible. I don't even know how to explain it. I, honestly, 10 out of 10. So while I was thinking of brunch number four, I realized there is actually so many brunches that I've done in Dubai over the years and there are so many good ones. So number four is gonna be my honorable mentions list of amazing brunches that I've done in Dubai. I'm just gonna blast through a couple of them. So you've got Hideout in Marina. This is your cheap, dirty brunch. This is 150 dirham. I've seen it for 100 dirham. I've seen it for 200 dirham, but it's very, very cheap for all you can drink and all you can eat. Not the best quality, but if you're looking for cheap drinks, that's your place to go. Candy Pants do loads of different events in lots of different venues in Dubai. So definitely follow them on Instagram because you'll keep up with the latest and greatest of what they have to offer. While we're talking about Candy Pants, they actually do one in STK, which is also in the Rixos Hotel on JBR. And STK has amazing steak really good quality food. They have really good performances of singers and people that dance on tables, and it's a really nice, small, intimate venue. If you're looking for some of the OG Dubai brunches that have been around for years and years, you have Double Deckers at the West Inn. It's just pub vibe, and you get a bit of a feel of what brunch was like probably five years ago. You have Koyo, which is in Marina as well. Um, Koyo's really good. They have really good stage shows. It's like a Japanese-themed restaurant, so sushi and black cod and some really tasty food. The stage shows are pretty sick. I won't spoil it, but there's a surprise stage that sort of comes down and some very cool acts. If like me you're into IPA there's Goose Island at um, 5 JVC. They have a really nice brunch there. Unique selling point is they actually have like a golf simulator at the back so you can play some golf. The food is very good. It was very sort of English traditional pub food style and they have lots of different IPAs to try with a live band. If you're looking for something a bit more upmarket the best steak in Dubai is Prime 68 and they also do a brunch sometimes on a Saturday. Then finally Pier 7. It's a classic it's in marina it's this really cool building that everyone's seen and each of the seven floors always does a brunch we really like mamazonia good party vibe lots of dancing lots of good food good atmosphere quite good views as well and if it's in the winter and it's not too hot you can sit on the balcony and look over at marina there you go that's my sort of highlights of a couple of different brunches and finally we're going to check out brunch number five And we're ending with the fifth and final brunch at the Address Skyview. We're going all the way up there. And we have a special guest. Welcome to Sailor V. Wow, look at all these awards. So I sort of forgot one vital point that this lift is glass and we're going to level 54. <laughs> Legs are starting to wobble. <laughs> Tell me it looks like a lifeguard. I can't do edges. <laughs> I'm more scared than you. Feel that. Feel that. Are you sure? Look at my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made yeah. it. We made yeah. it. <laughs> we might care, guys. So, this is at the incredible Address Skyview in downtown. We actually stayed here a couple months ago, which you can check out in another video over here. But this incredible view of the Burj Khalifa. And then there's a pool like right here. How insane. In 10 minutes we get let into the brunch, which is just in this room here. And of course, when you come to Sailor V, you get the classic swing here with this incredible view of the Burj. One of the biggest pulling factors about this brunch is the insane view you get here. I can't believe after all my years in Dubai and seeing millions of people get this picture, I've never sat on this swing. <laughs> We're starting with the sharing plates of all the starters here that look incredible. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So we've just finished our starter and it was incredible. The food here is such high quality and it's very, very high-end fine dining and it's a very precise menu. We had all this stuff and also we had squid and it was the best squid I've ever had. I didn't realize it should taste like that. Now we're on to the main course. 
So luckily they had a table outside, so we've moved outside now, and the food is insane. We've got our main course. We've got salmon, steak, risotto, everything. Look at this. Steak, salmon, risotto. I like changing risotto. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to Oh, we're not singing. It is happy birthday to you. By the candle. Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I put in the booking that it was someone's birthday, so we've got a birthday cake alongside this amazing dessert here. So that is my list of the top five brunches that are happening in Dubai right now. Always chopping and changing as new restaurants come and go and new concepts come along. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, at leader of no one. We're always at brunch and I'm always posting about it. Brunch is definitely a very cliche thing to do here in Dubai and it is well worth going to a couple to get a feel of what it is like. Don't forget to actually use your Saturday to do something useful because you end up consuming quite a few too many adult beverages and then Sundays are right off so your weekend is gone for a four hour brunch, which is sometimes not the smartest move. But you've got to do it sometimes relax it's great to get a big group together definitely book some of these brunches because they do get really busy and you have to book in time so let me know your favorite brunches down in the comments and apart from that don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys somewhere in dubai next time boom